So I finally figured out an example for this price increase causes deterioration uh, concept for this price imports. So imagine that before uh, before this price increase, exporting two apples, financed importing three oranges. Now that the price increase, the price for oranges rose. So then now exporting two apples will only finance uh, importing for one orange. And that's an example of price increase causing a deterioration in terms of trade. Um, so today we're going to talk about trade policy and it's all definition so just sit back and just uh, kind of get the concept so uh, the first things first uh, import taxes duties or we can call it tariffs they're pretty much raising the price of the imported product uh, this will indirectly lower its quantity so uh, we encourage the purchase of domestic product and what this does for the government is that it helps the government uh, make tax revenue and uh, that's that that's what tariffs are pretty much you're raising the price of uh, imports making it so much more expensive than your domestic products I encourage you to buy homemade products import quota is pretty much lowering the quantity of imported products allowed so say that uh, people want to people the foreign countries make a lot of imported products but we only allow a thousand then this will indirectly raise its price because there's lower supply if there's high demand and there's lower supply then then we indirectly raise the price but the off thing about this is we don't get any tax revenue now anti-dumping laws is pretty much uh, laws that goes against a foreign country selling its product at a really low price like below cost this would this um, happens because uh, a country may try to take over your market by uh, selling below their costs and by selling below their co costs for a certain time period this will uh, bankrupt all your other domestic uh, businesses that are running at home so the anti-dumping laws is just to prevent that to make uh, to make it so that these foreign countries can't take over your market by selling uh, their products at below cost countervailing duties are pretty much taxes placed on foreign products that are subsidized by the foreign government. So for example, the US subsidizes corn. If, I don't know, this this is, uh, this may be fictional or this may be fact, but US subsidizes corn and Canadians taxes the US corn uh, imports heavily because it is subsidized by the foreign government. And the next thing we're gonna move on to is reasons for trade. The first reason is diversification. Pretty much in order to not be at the mercy of any other country, we make our own unique products, not uh, relying heavily on uh, each on other countries. So, by diversifying, by getting into uh, in, into new industries and not uh, relying on other countries heavily, um, we pretty much protect ourselves from another country trying to take advantage of us. And that's the idea for uh, diversification. That's the idea. That's those are the reasons for the trade policies. Another reason is uh, protecting infant industries. So in industries that uh, are just starting out, say that another country's been uh, been exploring space for like twenty years, so they have a lot of experience. But then this new country, they just started expo uh, exploring space. So the con the new country wants to uh, protect their infant industries by. Uh, by uh, doing all sorts of crap that I don't really know. But yeah, that's a reason for a trade policy to protect your own in industry, to, 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 make, to keep it alive and to keep it going. And the last reason is to protect specific groups. So pretty much this means like protecting workers. So for example, we all know that Ch Chinese workers in China are very cheap. So, so for the US government, they would want to protect uh, their U.S. workers uh, using trade policies. This will protect them by helping them keep it keep their jobs against the low cost Chinese workers in uh, in other countries. So a lot of the rules of free trade, um, there yeah there are a lot of rules of free trade in order to keep everyone happy. And you can check out NAFTA. That's the North American Free Trade Agreement on Wikipedia. Um, yeah, uh, my professor briefly talked about it, and we didn't really get into it that much because we didn't really think it was that important and I still don't think it's that important but it's probably really important but you probably won't be tested on it so 
that's the end of this video. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah, comment. It really helps. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video when we'll talk about inefficiencies. See you again next time.